Yep. Hi, I'm Saul Goodman. <laughs> My God, no freaking shot. Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back. As we continue with more Better Call Saul, we're going to be hopping into season five, episode six. This title is kind of kind of scary. This one's called Wexler versus Goodman. I'm not the biggest fan of that title. I'm not going to lie. I don't want these two to be versing one another. And if they are, then it's some sort of plan. It's some sort of strategic plan, but... We're gonna get involved with this. Here we go. We're also getting um, more of like a bond, if you wanna call it that, between Gus and Mike. And that conversation where we left off at with the last episode was very good because I think that was the, like they always seen each other as equal, but it was the first time where they truly were honest with one another, with how they see themselves and Gus was upfront and how he sees Mike. And so these intentions are laid and they both understand the word revenge. Interesting stuff, man. It's interesting stuff. I'm excited to see what they're cooking. So I'm going to keep it going. And as always, guys, if you want to be able to, you know, show as much love as you want to this channel, by all means, you can check out the Patreon link below. You can also show love by leaving a like, comment and subscribe. And at the end of the day, you know, do any of those things. Just sit back, relax, get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into Better Call Saul. What on earth do we have going on here? I don't know who this is. Why are we at a random high school? I have no idea. What is this, that like after band class? You're telling me no teachers sat with her? That's really messed up. Where were you? I'm sorry, hon. I got held up down at the clover. Guess I got lost track of time. You were drinking? Kimmy. What is this? Oh, okay. This is this is a backstory. This is a backstory. This is Kim. Okay. Yo, I was about to say, do not bury me and just flash forward like Kim, I'm not 10 years in the future. Jeez. I'm just going to walk. Really? You're going to walk three miles with the cello. Don't be stupid. Get in. Man, I got to say this, and this is not me comparing lives or anything like that but if you have good parents if you just have good parents oh my god you know year. you're gonna be like this it's such a good thing not to say that this is a bad parent but fine don't listen to me you never listen those departing words right there you never listen but kim just keeps going with freedom from hidden fees and freedom to choose the account that's right for you. Ain't that right, Kevin? That's right, Dad. <laughs> that's him. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is fascinating. The Media Lab has a vision mixer. I think we could get the effect that you're going for. And with makeup and costumes, we can make it look like the same time period. <laughs> that's great. I love it. I love that these guys are still in the game. They are still in this TV series. I'm so happy to see them. No impact. No, just... I just feel like if we just get out there and this, we hustle, we can do it. We can. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that hustle mentality and, and college, bro. Nah. <laughs> I believe I have it. Huh? I love a man of confidence. I played Prospero on the plaza a month after prostate surgery. One has to have confidence. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> that is one hell of a confident man right there. <clears throat> There's fear here. There's emotion. You're searching for a hero. You know, <laughs> will no one save you? <laughs> <laughs> It's incredible. When you're passionate about something, absolutely. You can be a director. <laughs> Press record. And five, four, three, two. Magic. Magic. Delicious. You can't have the pizza while we do the thing. Because we're trying to shoot the commercial. That's why. I'm going to keep it right here. Dude, Saul could have just been... He, could, he just could have been a producer, bro. <laughs> like, he could have been a producer. Worked his way into the executive producing. Maybe dabbled within directing a little bit later on in his life. 
You look very, very officious, okay? All right, can you smile warmly? No, I'm trying to do <laughs> <laughs> she said, <laughs> no. Good, make it look real. And cut. Beautiful. I love their montages, it's so good. They are, they, like this entire series should be like a master class, with Breaking Bad included, on montages. And also that shot was great. I love that the light just illuminated on her to the bottom left damn that's wild seeing all the emotions that were just there there was like a sense of like watching he came i'm sorry you missed jimmy just in his bag and the, her being proud and then just getting back to the stress we move forward with this. Rich is going to figure out what's happening. And here's the truth. Rich knows nothing. Well, not yet. Not no. ever. He has nothing. There is no way to prove. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> you're a little you're a little too lax about that. You're doing all this because of me. I'm helping. Yeah. All right. Just don't touch the camera. He claims it's an extension of his body. <laughs> <laughs> he's not wrong <laughs> when the body costs a good bit about as much as a limb would be yeah it's an, it's an extension of your body by default <laughs> hitting your supply trucks going after your restaurants getting your customers sick cutting off power busting open pipes god damn yo lalo is not playing he's trying to deconstruct the legs and savagely eviscerate the rest. That's kind of crazy. Guessing there's something you want to get off your chest. Y'all go way back. Y'all go season one back. First things first. We take care of Lalo. Then we'll talk. Mmm. What does that mean? Taking care of Gus? Sorry, Mike. I see the future. You do not make it. Fantastic. Kevin will be over the moon. When is it official? There's a meeting on the books with Mr. Goodman for Wednesday at 3 o'clock. Music to my ears. Oh, my God. Is, Saul, is, is Jimmy going to do something? Is Jimmy going to pull something and not tell Kim? You guys remember that that story with like the whole <laughs> laboratory? Crazy. <laughs> and the Germans and everything. That was crazy. That was an that was an insane storyline. I was not expecting something like that. And I am trying to help them find. Hmm. They're looking for closure, Lily. <laughs> this dude Mike is just <laughs> this dude Mike is just something else man the way he's able to just hit man 47 his way into situations is pretty great thick black smoke and flames and the man with the mustache you didn't see him when you returned no I got there just as the fire engines were arriving I love that Mike is now following Lalo at first it was Lalo following Mike but now it's the other way around you remember that detail that was so long ago, I don't think I can remember who I spoke to. Well, I have that right here. <laughs> He's like, let me actually refresh your memory again. Please get a little funny about private investigators horning in on their business. They can have all the credit. I only want justice. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this dude is hilarious, man. Hey. You want a quick rub and tug? Just to say thanks? Uh, we won't mess up your suit or nothing. We'll clean you up nice with a warm towel. A warm towel, then? That's wild. <laughs> that's... That's wild. <laughs> a quick rub and tug. Lady, hey! Uh, ladies! <laughs> uh, hey, um... 
how much for uh, an hour of your time? Oh, man. See, even within that context, he's planning on something worse. <laughs> what is he planning? Guess she's been filing a different type of brief for the judge now, hasn't she? Very good. Let's hear more about that hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, this conversation is literally like, it, it feels like I would have to laugh like that. I, 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 I. <laughs> That's that white man laugh right there. Dude, Jimmy is bullying Howard, man. What are you hearing from Kylie? Uh, can I help you? Howie, you know. Oh my God! Here we go, dude. This is so cringy. This is so cringy. You know what I'm saying? I can leave if you need. Uh, uh, no, no. <clears throat> Look, I don't know any Joe Dog or Tugboat. <laughs> so. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. I don't know anything about the, this Joe Dog. <laughs> no, no, Cliff. M my hookers were taller than these. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm good. That's the thing, bro. You're too good, man. You're too good. He is bullying the crap out of Howard, man. <laughs> Damn. Well, I wanted to ask you, um, have you ever heard of a bank called Mesa Verde? Dude. Dude, Jimmy, man. Dude, this, this, I keep saying this might be it, but I don't know, man. This might actually be it. We're on season five. How many of these can Kim take? I don't know. And don't you think that Detective Roberts should get it? Sometime? Today? Yes, absolutely. He's not even wearing anything. He's not even wearing anything. He's not, he doesn't have any badge on. He's just pure dominance, man. <laughs> All I care about is getting this behind us. Done. Finito. We won't have finalized contracts today, but we'll definitely land on an agreement. Yeah, I don't know about that, sadly. I don't know about that. This is about to be very, very bad. Oh, you know what? I can tell from the impressive belt buckle. Really looking forward to settling this. Me too. Let's do this. <laughs> dude, I love how this dude Jimmy could just walk into the lion's den. And just, did, he just does his thing. <laughs> We'd like nothing more. What amount are you asking? Four million dollars. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, four, four million dollars? Bro, whoa. Oh my God. The offer with my client, and he really, really doesn't want to leave his house is home four million is the only number he'll be happy with god ah oh, man you could just see the frustration yikes this is terrible would love to bring up a completely unrelated matter. kevin we can handle this no this is really good you're gonna want to see this kevin you want to stick around your dad's in this dog yo yo <laughs> jimmy jimmy bruh bill Shades, please. Damn, and she can't even say anything. She can't even say anything. She just has to, like, take this in. Yo, Jimmy came out swinging. Yeehaw! Oh, my God. Oh my goodness, bruh. He's blackmailing them. Un-American. Yep. Hi, I'm Saul. Oh my God. No freaking shot. Kidding me? Yeah, this is libel. It's, it's libel. It's my father you're making a fool of. Jimmy, turn it off. You know you can't do this. This is a good one. And she said Jimmy. She said Jimmy. You know what? 
You can stop us. Some news outlet will pick it up. They'll run for free. To open my safety deposit box, and Miss was standing there. Dude, dude, yo, that's crazy, Jimmy. That's insane, dude. That's actually, that's that's wild. It said bare genitals. We agree to Acker's ridiculous demands, and you don't run this garbage? It's illegal to do that. No lawyer can play one case off another. It is un- What is he thinking? What is he thinking? There has to be, there has to be something here. Olivia Bitsui, she's a photographer. In fact, she took the self-portraits. Really lovely. Here's another picture she took 54 years ago. Kevin, say nothing. Oh, God. He's going to get it for, for copyright. Oh, my goodness. Looks like a mirror image there. So I think I can convince a judge and probably a jury that Mesa Verde misappropriated Miss Bitsui's intellectual property. I'm speechless right now. I did not think he was going to come out into the lion's den like this. They're in the cage with him, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, the problem we're facing is that none of the so-called victims said Mesa Verde no, did this. Said, My Mesa bank, Verde did that. What's in front of our images? Are like, was that all just to like keep Kim from like looking as if like she was an employee with this? Four four five five today. Where are you? Stay there. Damn, yo, <laughs> Jimmy. Yank this dude out of his place, bro. That's crazy. In addition to receiving future credit for the inspiration and use of the logo from Mesa Verde. Also, you know what? Throw in a public apology for Ms. B yo, yo, I mean, I can't, I can't even get mad at him. I can't even get mad at him. I can't even get mad at him. Because, like, he's kind of right. He's kind of right. <laughs> Can you imagine a world where we shake hands on that? Man to man? Damn, they are cutting they're cutting too quick from these moments, man. I'm so mad. Damn. Turn off the vehicle, drop the keys off the window. Bro, what the heck? What were you gonna do? Shoot a cop like right there? Yo, it looks like Lalo's caught. Lalo is caught, y'all. I don't see him getting out of this at all. Hey, how'd it go? <laughs> Dude, you gotta explain this to Kim. You can't just let her just destroy you, man. Like, like this has to, there has to be something greater. <laughs> I should have warned you, but you know what? You being angry at me, that worked. You were concerned that Rich was suspicious. Did he say anything? That, ha like, there's no way, dude. There has to be something else, man. There has to be something else other than, other than that. We, we should celebrate, really. We'll go to a steakhouse, get a couple bottles of red wine, some tiramisu, the whole nine yards. Oh God, what else happened? What else happened here? You made me the sucker again. Again? What? Wait, how can you be the sucker? It was your plan. Oh, fuck you, Jimmy. Yeah, bro. I don't know why you didn't see this coming a mile away, bro. What on earth? You can excuse stabbing me in the back by making it about protecting me? Is that, is that really supposed to justify everything? Okay, Kim, oh, I'm man. sorry. I'm sorry. All right? Yeah, you say that, bro. You say that. You say that all the time, man. I don't know. Kim is Kim is Kim is over it, y'all. <laughs> if you don't see it, I don't know what to say because we are at a breaking oh, point. God. Either we end this now, no. oh, either we end this now and enjoy the time we had and go our separate way. Mm. Jesus Christ, man. Maybe we get married. What? Oh, uh, 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 what the hell? Oh, my God. Yo. Guys, what am I supposed to say to that? All right, everybody. We just got done this episode. Uh, what the heck? 
What the heck? I don't even, I can't see. I can't see what they're cooking, but I can smell it. <laughs> I can't see it, but I sure as hell can smell the cook. Yo. Oh my God, like, I was not expecting this. I thought this was gonna be the point. I thought this was gonna be it. Because now she is confronting him about this and Jimmy can't even, he can't even lie about lying. You know, he can't even lie about not lying again because that would be a lie. So they're at this crossroads where it's either they not see each other again. You know, it's either they, they, they break up or they double down and get married. That's one hell of an option. Damn, I'm curious to see what happens from that. I'm so curious. I'm curious as hell because what that says to me is like, okay, Jimmy, if you're gonna do this, I can't be a part of that. But if we get married, then you can't do this anymore. But, <sighs> Oh my god, like I don't even I don't even understand. I don't understand. I do understand, but it's just damn this show just curves ball me. Like at the very end, where I'm like getting the rhythms, I'm following the beats, I'm 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 with it, and then it's like boom, just hits me with this like unexpected turn that leads down like a whole other full of causes and events and, and effects. Yo. This episode was crazy. Lalo is caught, by the way. So that's going to be interesting. I wonder if Lalo is going to try and get a hold of Jimmy. Oh, my God. There's just so much. I, it's, I want to think about, obviously, everything that has happened at the beginning of this episode, but I can't because of the ending. <laughs> it's like every time I try to get a new thought out, I'm left with, like, where is this going to lead to? And I'm like, wait, no, I got to talk about, like, what was happening prior to all of that. Like, Mike and Nacho, you know? And them talking just, again, just, 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 <laughs> just talking again. You know, it's been a couple of seasons, I want to say, prior to them meeting up again like this. But things have changed. And Mike, I'm wondering where he's going with this. I wonder how he's going to double down himself. And I feel like it reminds me of, um, I think, what Gus said to Walter in Breaking Bad, where you can't take any more half measures. You have to take a full measure. And I'm wondering if these next couple of episodes are going to be full measures. So, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. This was a crazy episode. As always, stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket, pocket full of weed Everything that I should ever need Grab some matches cause they give them free Just like my time Hair pulled back in the backseat